George, you're halfway through your first training session. How are you finding it? Uh, good so far. Uh, good, good to get back into it. Um, tough as you can imagine. It's, um, it's one of them things where your first day is always going to be tough with the amount of running and stuff. But it's good to get in with the lads and, and meet all the new lads who, who I don't know already. Obviously, know a few and know the gaffer and Carl already. But um, yeah, good. Good start. New challenge for you and one I'd imagine you're excited about. Yeah. Very excited, really. It's, um, it's it's looking promising. It's looking like a, a promising season with um, what the gaffer and Carl have got set up already. And um, you've only got to look at a few of the faces in that dressing room, and you know we've got a good base to work with already. Um, and you can only imagine that's going to improve as as we start bonding together. So um, yeah, promising signs. A big leap of faith in you from the manager. There's a bit of money change hands in terms of compensation, so that's not rare at this level, but it it, it, it isn't that common, and um, manager's obviously got a lot of faith in you. Yeah, um, which I'm grateful for, and, and I'm trying my best to, to repay that. Um, obviously, I, I've heard a lot uh, of things from the gaffer, and they're all promising, and um, he puts belief in you, um, which is what any player wants and um, these philosophies and stuff like that mirror mine which is, is always good and uh, it's brilliant that he's got so much faith in me and, and hopefully when the games come about yeah, we can rack some clean sheets up and repay that favour. Brad Beatson's come with you, what does he bring to the party? Um, Brad's a good steady lad, he, he's got a, a lot of promise in him, he, obviously I've played with him last year and um, he's never put a foot wrong for me, uh, you can always give him the ball and he's reliable. Um, good technical player with a lot of presence, so um, you, the, the players like that, the, the calibre of players that the gaffer's bringing in, that can only help because um, while you like your experienced lads, you, you've got to have a bit of young promise there that can deal with the ball at the back, so um, yeah, Brad, Brad will be a good player next year, I'm sure. You obviously played against Boston twice last year in the in the Christmas games and, yeah. and had two pretty good games from from memory, um, it could be Gainsborough again at Christmas. That's um, yeah, probably going to be the, been the, about that, the first one you're going to look out for when the fixtures come out. Yeah, um, it, well, f the first one for me is the first game because that, that's obviously the most exciting for anyone. But obviously, I will look for where Gainsborough is. I've, I've liked to think I've left on good terms there. I've, I've left a lot of good people there and people who I'll stay friends with for the rest of my football career. But um, yeah, it'd be, be exciting. But we'll be, we'll be looking to win and and hopefully get six points. And there are six playoff places up for grabs this year, so it does make it slightly easier for a, a team to get yeah, in there. Um, yeah. And I presume top seven at this stage is the aim. Got to be top seven, yeah. Um, that's any ask anyone in that dressing room, and that's got to be the aim. And if we're all on the same page with that, then brilliant. Um, anyway, in that top seven, obviously, like to finish first, that that'd be the aim. But um, you've got to be realistic and <coughs> um, just. Go for the top seven, you know.